organic mic here. All right, check this out. Here's my bubbler. But that's not what this video is about. Let's walk down through my paradise here. You're probably wondering why that bucket's hanging from the tree on a pulley. Well, this is why. It's my automatic gate closer. So you open the gate, turn around, and it's got just enough weight to slowly shut the gate. So my little uh, passion vines are doing great over the fence there. But here's the point of the video. I wanted to clarify, a lot of people were talking about these moringa trees. This is about the miracle tree, how, how drought tolerant and, and whatnot they are. Well, they're not only drought tolerant, but since March, I've been uh, running water just like this. This is the overflow coming out of my water trough. How you doing, kitty? You having a good day? Huh? Yep. Anyway, distracted by cats. But check this out. Look at the seed pods on this moringa. You give it lots of water and lots of nutrition, and look what it does. Uh, and I don't think you can get an idea how big these are until I put my hand against them, but get down in here in the water. So look, this seed pod, it branches out. Normally it's just one. This is how crazy this tree is. Look at this. It's got two on one branch. Okay. And this seed pod's probably two, over two feet long, easy. Here, let me give you a look down the way here. Look how long that sucker is. So anyway, the more you water them, the better they grow. Um, and they're almost hitting the ground, those seed pods down there. And what happened to this tree is I put it in a pot over winter and it was and it almost died because they froze out here on the back porch. So I transplanted this sucker and uh, I'm gonna try to find a video of that and post it in the, and edit it in this video. But anyway, just to show you that this was last year's transplant, I planted these last, um, April 11th, I think. But if you look real close, I can probably pull it out now. Yeah, see this? This is last year's growth. Um, that's it right there. Yeah, it just came right up. So, just to prove to you that this was last year's growth and I transplanted this tree from a pot, that's what it froze off from last year. So, so then I started watering this thing so much that the the tree fell over and it fell over against the fence it fell that direction so I tied it up against this tree I don't know if you can see it but there's a moringa branch cruising through here I got it tied to this pecan tree over here and then I tied the other branch to my Rosa Sharon and pecan tree over here with velcro because it's just weighted down so much with seed pods. And as soon as I tied it, within days, I see why they call this thing a miracle tree. This thing shoots up right here and right there. Like a whole nother tree. And it puts on seeds. Look, it's putting on flowers. I don't know if you can see that. But it's it's acting like there's nothing wrong. It just, you know, I tied it over, fell over and it just shoots straight up. So it's re very, very intelligent and resilient and drought tolerant and it can handle wet feet. That's what I wanted to show you about this tree. Oh, and this is, this is full cycle on these trees. I'm gonna get seeds from them this year for sure. Even though these aren't dried up yet, I'm gonna take you down to a tree that I didn't pull out of the ground and I left uh, planted. All I did was I put hay bales around it. So let me go over here and show you. Happy ducks. There's my 
drought tolerant pond tank in Texas. If it wasn't for the water well, that thing would be dry. This is the worst drought we've ever seen in Texas, and I live uh, about 10 miles from the big fire in Bastrop. Well, looky here. There's my automated uh, water for the bird feeders, and the birds are eating all the seed, but this is why I walked over here. And I guess when the seed pod falls on the ground, which it wasn't on the ground this morning, it's ready for harvest. So check this out. I'm just going to bust this sucker open right here on the video. This is a Moringa seed pod. Just fell out of the tree this morning, I guess. But look at all the dry seed pods on this tree. That's ready for harvest. But I'm not going to harvest them just yet. But I counted there's an average of uh, 15 seeds per pod like this. And you can kind of see where the seeds are, where the lumps are, is where the seeds are in general. But I'm just going to bust this thing open right here. I need a tripod. But I'm going to peel this thing open like this. And look at there. You peel it open. This thing slides off like this. I can do this with one hand. And look at there. So there's more than 15 seeds in this one, but that is ready to plant seeds. And I'm in central Texas, so they definitely will grow in Texas. And I'm gonna go set this down over here pick one of these seeds out to show you what they look like. Alright, so I'm going to pop this thing open and this little seed just, look at that. It's got wings on it. It's like the little spaceship at the end of the movie on uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. That little thing that they got into kind of looks like that. So this is the Moringa seed pod right here, and here's the seeds, and I'm going to cherish each one of these seeds. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in my back pocket, but I guess they have wings on them, so when the pod busts open, they can fly through the air. I don't know. How do they do in the air? Yeah. So if you let them go in one spot, they separate themselves over a foot. So that's probably the concept there. So they'll, they'll land at least a foot apart falling from the tree. Let's do it one more time. Drop the seeds. Yep. Oh, God. Don't eat my Moringa seeds. Thank you. <laughs> that was a close one. Ducks do not get the seeds. All right, so there we go. So that is a full cycle. I planted these in uh, April 11th, 2010, and it's now September 25th, I believe. Yeah, September 25th, 2011. So you can do the math on how many months that is. But we had a hard winter last year, and... That Moringa tree froze back, and all I had was bales around it, uh, hay bales, and I'll show you how far it froze back. This little stump is still there. You can probably see it right, right there. Right there, I'm hitting it with the seed pod. That's what was, pull it off, I'll break it off. This was, uh, last year's growth, you know, it was bigger than this, but uh, it was probably three times as tall as this, but uh, it just broke off. But it froze down basically back to the root system. So this year I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put hay bales around it, or I might build a little miniature greenhouse around this thing to try to keep it overwintered, but it's going to be my seed tree from here on out. This is where I'm going to harvest my seeds. I don't really harvest the leaves to eat off of them. 
but you can eat anything on this tree. So that's what I wanted to show you is this one tree from one seed that one of the ducks almost ate is giving me hundreds if not probably if over maybe five six hundred seeds I don't know I'm gonna count what I the production I get off of this one tree just to see the ratio and that's true wealth right there when you can plant one seed and get 800 back like a corn crop or what whatnot and eventually I'm gonna have a whole property of these growing in microclimates where it's constantly watered like this and they love water so don't don't think that they thrive in drought situations that's that's the misinformation I found on the internet is people keep saying they like bad soil and they like the desert area that's not true they'll live in um, desert areas and they'll live with low water but I've seen I mean look at that seed pod it's almost as big as a pickle big around as a cucumber and over a foot long and they didn't grow like this last year because I didn't water them like this so if you have a constant water source you want to plant them by a tank that's got water running into it that's what I'm gonna do next year I'm gonna plant them beside my ram pumps and see how they thrive with that extra water because you know it's I water it probably I fill this thing up with water once every two days and then this is constantly flowing like this all the time so this one doesn't have as the wet feet situation is as much as the other one up by the house but the next video on this will be the seed count per tree this other moringa tree oh I have three of these growing that survived but I just want to show you again it's so impressive this group of seed pods there's probably one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve probably 12 pods in a group right there and look at all the new seed pods that it's putting on here and at this stage I'm pretty sure you can eat these like green beans I'll have to do more research and see every little flower I don't know if you can see that puts on new seed pods so if uh, we didn't have a winter here in Texas those would mature this year but I don't think they're gonna make it because it's it's already September and our winters are are getting colder every year here let me go through my automated gate closing set up here and show you one last moringa tree this one really gets abuse I had it propped up but I let it fall back over but this one is growing pretty much in shade and this is what I wanted to show you it's not growing as fast and it's growing in shade and it's fighting for for nutrients because of the grass here but they like full Sun but they will grow in shade and this is proof but when I transplanted this one this one froze last year it was just a little bitty like nugget like the size of a pecan the root system so it was a little bitty thing you could barely see the root system and it popped into this under these conditions and it's just now starting to flower good and it'll put seed pods on but it, it I don't think it's gonna make full cycle on the seeds but it's trying so you can grow these things in any condition and my next attempt is gonna be probably I'm gonna pull this one up and put it in a pot and see if I can overwinter in the house next to a window and see how it likes that you're having a good day yep real good day all right anyway OrganicMike.com, subscribe if you like.